Hello, my name is Dr. Isabel Bernard, and I'm a general practitioner working at the Medical Chambers Kensington. I've been a GP in London for over 13 years. Today I thought we might speak about sleep hygiene, and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to make sure that you get enough sleep. We all lead very busy lives nowadays, and many people feel that um, sleeping is a bit of a waste of time, and as a consequence, they spend less and less time in bed. And about 30% of people are chronically sleep depraved. Um, the consequence of that directly is that fatigue builds up and you become quite low in energy. And the health professionals generally recommend that you need a minimum of seven hours sleep every night. And even better yet is to get eight hours of sleep every night. If you don't get that amount of sleep, it'll start affecting your ability to concentrate, to take important decisions. Even your capacity to deal with stress will be affected. Sleep is also extremely important for your memory. More worryingly, in the past few years, we've actually discovered that lack of sleep can also affect your genetic makeup and can make you more prone to being obese or developing type 2 diabetes, and these are irreversible consequences of your lack of sleep. It's, it's really essential uh, to make time for sleep and to get at least seven or eight hours every night. A few tips really is to um, try and keep your bedroom a very uh, calm and quiet place where you can relax. Try not to have any televisions or music on. And we're now aware that the blue lights emitted by television, but also electronic devices, um, affect the natural production of melatonin, which is the sleep hormone. And that will delay the onset of sleep in the evening. So it's important to try not to be in front of these screens at least two hours before bedtime. If you've had a very busy week and haven't been able to sleep very regularly, then try to catch up on weekends, maybe by sleeping late, or maybe napping during the day, you can actually have some short naps which are 10 minutes long or some slightly more restoring naps of 90 minutes which allow for a full sleep cycle. And although that's not as good as sleeping regularly, it is better than nothing. Um, it is also important to try and reduce the amount of stimulants that you drink and that's usually caffeinated drinks such as tea, coffee or even Coca-Cola, particularly in the afternoons or uh, evenings before you go to bed. We know that exercising in the day um, will help people sleep in, in the night time, but we also know that if you exercise quite late in the evenings, that will give you a bit of an adrenaline kick and will keep you awake. So try not to exercise late at night or in the evenings. I think if you try and follow these tips on a regular basis, you will find that you will be restored of energy and you will be much more um, efficient at work. And overall, on the long term, we know that sleeping regularly will keep you in very good health. I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching this video.